Okay, so I am going to demo, let's see, bring up Cav here, um, how to basically add um, basic blocks like beds, and then we'll get into plumbing, and then I'll show you a little bit about the kitchen. So these are the things that um, I want you to be working on for homework. We're going to be working on more on class Thursday. I was able to kind of demo individually to a couple of folks, but um, we haven't done a whole class demo of this yet, so I want to make sure we have a recording of it so you can follow along, or you can go back and double check. So the easiest place to first find furniture blocks is here in our tool palettes library. So right now I have my rooms pretty well figured out. I have my doors. Um, for these house projects, usually what I do is I encourage you to put your beds in first because that's going to tell you right away whether or not you can fit the size of bed in the room that you want. But if it's too small or the door swings kind of in a weird spot where you can't really fit a bed comfortably, you know, we're at a good phase now where you can move walls, you can make this house bigger. Um, I'm giving you a lot of leeway in terms of changing the architecture of this house just to kind of suit your layout and kind of design it more yourself. So one of the things we're going to do is if I go here under this tab. So if you don't see all these tabs, there's usually a couple of little gray bars at the bottom here and you sort of left click and then you can see more of them come up. Mine are all open, but like I said, if yours is condensed, let me see if I can get it to condense. See where there's now, it's really hard to see, but there's a couple more tabs there where if I right click, then I have FF and E. So you can either drag at the bottom of this guy and make it really long and then you can see them all or you can kind of um, you know collapse the list that way too. So if you go into FF and E right now, um, right now, I actually do have a bed already because I brought it in, but you're going to go all the way down to the bottom to more FF and E, click on that. So just one left click, give it a second to kind of come up to this kind of home page. If you ever need to get back to this, um, that's sort of the top level of all these folders, there's a little home button here. So it gets you to here. And then you want design tool catalog imperial which is down here somewhere let's see i've lost it here we have oh look we have all these different languages too lovely um let me go back we'll get it back to here this is the main one we want to be in design tool catalog imperial so we're going to go down to furnishings i'm going to left click on it once because then you can see all the different categories when we go to do our kitchens and our morning class casework here's this is where all our cabinets are so that's one place to look but for us right now, I went back here to furnishings. I'm going to click on furniture and then I want beds. So in my case, in my master, I'm assuming there's two adults. I want to see if I can fit a king in. I could insert it right into drawings, but because I might use more than one king bed, I'm going to say add to tool palettes. So now it's right here. So it's there's my bed. So I left click on it. I kind of roughly place it in the room where I want. And right now, snaps is on, so it's trying to snap right to the wall. I'm going to turn snaps off. That's the square down here, just so I can kind of place it more organically. And because also the bed wouldn't be like smushed right up against the wall, you want a little space. So I left click there. Then I hit escape because otherwise it's going to keep placing beds for me. Now, this orange is correct. If I click on this and go over to home, the layer it now is on is I furniture. So just by bringing in that block, it's added that layer to my um, project. And you'll see I've also added some toilets private, like um, previously in class. So, but I'll show you how we're going to get that too for plumbing. So that's the layer we want for furniture. So right now that king bed works pretty well. Um, I think I was planning on making, um, I think this was the guest room and this is going to be an office. So in a guest room, I might try a queen size bed. So I'm going to go back here over to more FF and E tools. There's, oops, jumped, kind of jumped away from me again. So we're going to go down to furnishings and then furniture and then bed. And then we're going to add that queen one. So I'm going to say in, add to tool palette because again, I might, might want more later. So I'm going to left click. So now it's right here in my tool palette, left click on the queen. In this case, I'm going to need to rotate it, but first I'm just going to put it here in the bed, hit escape. And then there's my bed right there. So to rotate it around, here's the rotate tool where I can type it in. And then the first thing it's asking is which object am I going to rotate? It's going to be this one here. Then it wants to know my base point. Again, what's my handle? I'm going to put my snap back on, which is down here. And I'm going to get, I have to hit enter. I'm going to get right in the middle there. So that's my, my base point to rotate it. Now, because I have ortho on, see how it's only going to go 90 degrees? Ortho, if I turn it off, I can kind of freehand it. So you're going to freehand that later say with like more casual side chairs and things like that. But for a bed, that'll be a little weird. So we're gonna put ortho back on and I'm gonna make sure it's going in this direction. 
Now, when I want to move it, I go over to the move tool here. It's like basically the two little crossed arrows. And then it's asking which object. So I'm going to left click on the bed I'm going to hit enter or you can right click. And then I'm going to right now it's an orthos in this case, I turn off the ortho off, turn snap off and kind of again roughly place it in the middle of the room. Um, if you were in class Monday, we also talked about um, if I wanted to move this I just type move a little closer to the wall. You don't want for a bed where at least two adults are going to sit in or sleep in. You don't want it smushed up against a wall. It's impossible to make the bed. It's just not very comfortable. Um, you want to have a minimum of 24 inches. So right here be between the bed and the wall. That means like an adult can easily swing their legs out, comfortably stand up. You're not you know, squished right up against the wall. If you want to double check that, we can go over to, um, let's see the annotate button. Is it, let's see, oh, no, it's home. Over here under measure, if I want to do the quick measure, I can kind of scroll in there and see right now I've got plenty of space. I've got three feet. So that works out fine. So that's how we're going to get our beds in. All right, so let me just pause this for a minute. Okay, so now that we've got the beds placed, that's the first critical thing in planning your house, just making sure that these beds are going to work. So for example, like in this bedroom now, this is a guest bedroom, but I, I might have some room to put a closet in, depending on how, how wide on either side of this bed is, um, or at least like definitely an armoire, like if a guest is saying they can store their clothes. Um, in my case, I made this small, this room a little bit smaller, I made this bathroom bigger, because I'm going to use this as like a, um, an office or kind of studio space in, in sort of my imaginary house here. So in my case, this is the like master bath, and this is the guest bathroom. Um, so I'm going to do those next, because again, we know these spaces are kind of tight. This guy, chances are I might make this closet smaller to accommodate what I want to put in the bathroom. So the first thing you've got to figure out is for the master bathroom, um, if you can fit a shower and a tub, a couple of you are trying that it, it's going to be tricky in a house this small. Definitely when we get to our final project, your master bathroom will be large enough that you could probably get away with that. Um, but they definitely need a place to shower. So you can have a tub base with a shower in, in the tub, or you can have like a free freestanding shower unit. I'll talk to you a little bit about where we're going to get some of the blocks for that. A lot of times with showers though, we're sort of drawing it from scratch because um, if you're not buying a shower pan, but just having a continual tile floor, uh, what we're going to be showing on plan is actually drawing the glass doors and like where the shower head is and things like that. Um, but I'll show you where some of these shower kind of preformed kits are. Um, in the guest ba bathroom, again, depending on um, who who your imaginary client is, if there's kids, you probably will want to have a bathtub because so, again, you know, after a certain age, kids are still taking baths or up to a certain age. Um, if this is adults and you're just having adult guests coming, just giving them a shower is, is fine. Um, again, for our final project, I'm going to give you a lot more kind of specific programming on the bathroom, but in these cases, you, you have some leeway. So again, this information again is under FF&E. If you go way, way to the top, there is some preformed stuff here. There's already some uh, toilet, uh, st there's toilet stalls, urinals. So these are all for um, commercial bathrooms. So again, like the ones we have in Froman where multiple people can go in and use them. But th there is this one toilet, it's really sad. So you're gonna wanna get a lot of your toilets from, from Kohler, but I'm gonna show you first what's here, what we have available. So if you go back to here, and again, so in this case, it's gonna be under plumbing. So I think, let me see if it's special construction. I kind of forget which one it's on. Let me pause for a minute, just remind myself where it is. All right, so where this is all hidden is under mechanical. So you start with mechanical and then plumbing fixtures, and then you have bathtubs, laboratories, which are toilets, shower, wait, are they? No, they're sinks. Yeah, sorry, laboratories are sinks. And then toilets, you even have drains. Here's the thing, a lot of this stuff is, meant for commercial and or kind of an older style. So I can show you kind of what the showers look like. Um, we talked about this a little bit in class. This is very small. If you if you kind of plot out three by three on the floor, oh, let me hit that sound. Um, if you, it, you're, you're literally kind of have walls coming right up to your face almost. So um, this is the absolute minimum you want to put into a house because otherwise you're feeling kind of claustrophobic. This is almost like a school industrial kind of size one. This gets a little bigger, but I'll show you what these guys look like. Um, we'll just kind of stick this one in. So we'll say add to tool palette. And then we're going to bring this in. 
and oh, so it kind of fits here, but we're gonna have to swing it around in a minute. So I'm gonna hit escape, enter, that's where it is. If we look at it in 3D, you can kind of see, I've got it turned around, but it's one of these units where you buy the, the whole unit together. Um, it's not super attractive. So I'm gonna encourage you to, to look up sort of some nicer options on Kohler. So with that said, let me show you where some of those things are. Um, the other thing though to remind, remember is once I bring this guy in, let me do this again. I click on them. Now I've got over here on layers, I've got the P fixture layer. So everything that goes in your bathroom goes on this layer because plumbing is involved. So again, your plumber needs to know. And when we get into making our construction drawings, we're gonna talk about how this stuff stays on the plan. Because if you remember the video we watched that like first couple of days, um, plumbers are the first ones on the job basically. They need to know where all these pipes are going. All right, so let me pause and bring up the next kind of stuff. Okay, so right now I'm in the afternoon tech one Moodle, but the links I'm gonna show you are actually um, in both classes on both Moodle pages. So if you keep scrolling down all the way to underneath project one. So we have, oh, I went past it, here we go. So here's project one, here's our sample floor plan. The, this is the link to take you to uh, the nice Kohler directory. So I'll walk you through that in a minute. Um, this guy we're going to talk about in a minute too. This is where you can get a lot of free CAD blocks. Um, however, the ones that are drawn the nicest, what I kind of showed everybody in class is a chair will come in and it'll be even bigger than your house. So bless the person who drew these all. They're, they're lovely. They're very pretty. They work nicely, um, but they were drawn at this ginormous scale. Um, and I'm going to explain to you the math of how we scale those down in a minute too. So for Kohler, we're going to go here. And we'll just use shower as an example. So we're gonna start up here at this directory. We're gonna to go to product information, search for products. And then in my case, under here, under category, I'm going to uh, filter by showers. And then I'm gonna filter again by one that has a 2D plan. I'm also might get the front one, but this way I know I'm getting a 2D drawing. So what they're showing here are um, shower pans. So these are perfectly acceptable to use because again, at this point, our house is not universal design. When we go to do the final project, we don't wanna use these because we wanna be able to have a nice flat tile floor, but these guys work fine. You can get a shell that has the three sides if you want. But if I were to bring this guy in here, so this one's really nice and wide, 60 by 34. And this, this might fit in the, the house that I have. Um, so I'm going to, what you need to do is click view all, and that's where you'll see all the CAD they offer. So in my case, I'm going to get the 2D plan, and I'm just going to open it up here. Now I'll make a separate video on how to do blocks, because I'm going to do this guy pretty quickly. But before I bring him in, I want to select it all, and I want to see over here where it says layers. I want to make sure I put it on zero, and the color is by layer. So this way I'm gonna have it nice and clean when I kind of bring it into my drawing. So I'm gonna right now type block and I'm gonna call this shower pan. And oops, we have to select objects. So I'm gonna select them all here. And I think it's also asking me, my, my Zoom com is covering it, yep. So then we're gonna say, okay again, wait, should be okay again. Kohler's got a couple extra things going on there. So see right now that instead of all separate lines, it's a block. So I'm gonna say control C, and I will make a video about making blocks again because it's a little bit separate. So I'm going to control V to paste it. Now, before I put this in this area here, I want to make sure it's on the, the P, uh, the plumbing layer. So since I've left this guy sitting here, all I have to do is click match properties and I click on the blue one, the blue shower, and then I click on this shower. And now it's on the nice layer that I want it to be. I also want to rotate this guy. So I'm going to click rotate and then I'm left clicking and Oh, I'm going to put it back on ortho there. Now let's see if this guy fits in here because I might have to make my walls a little different. So in this case, I'm going to put snap back on because I want to kind of snap like this corner kind of to my wall. I might have to move it over. Yeah, I'm going to move it over a little bit. Escape. I'm going to move this now just a tiny bit more. Take snap off just so I can get right in about there is where we'll put the shower pan. So this guy actually works perfect. So this is I'm kind of figuring out my bathroom that I want to sort of tuck the shower behind in here. Um, I'm probably gonna have my toilet here, maybe have a little private nook with a little half wall in my vanity. Um, but right now I've got a lot of pretty good amount of space here. So again, I would say put in your shower and or tub first, then you start working through the bathroom and the sink and the vanity. 
we go back over to Kohler, the nice thing is that a couple of folks have already discovered is if I unclick showers here. If I put in vanities, there's already a couple blocks there for us. So um, some of them are actually the whole cabinet. This will also stay on the P fixture layout level. So let me bring one of these in. Um, DWG plan. For the vanities, get the front elevation too while you're here, because we're going to use them eventually for um, elevations. So here's the vanity. So what it's showing is that's the handle. So this is the front here. I'm going to again clean this block up a little bit. So I'm going to look at my properties. I'm going to make sure all of the layers are zero and the colors by layer. I'm going to make it a block again. So I'll say B L O C K. I'm just typing it here. Um, I might do this specify a base point on screen too. I'll show you what that does. That allows me to give it a handle. So, oops, hold on. My commands are covered by Zoom again. So I'm going to select the objects, hit enter, say OK. Let's see, is it good to go? Whoops. We got Kohler's got, like I said, extra programming there behind the scenes. So that one's good to go. So I'm going to control C. And bring it in here, control V. Oops, I stuck it over there by mistake. Um, we want to put it, match the property. So we're going to match this blue to that one. And this guy now I also have to rotate. So I'm going to rotate it. And I want to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to take my, yep, yeah, my snaps are already off. So I can, I'm going to take ortho off too. I might, let's say I have a window here. I'm probably going to move that window because I'm going to need a mirror there. The other thing too to think about is um, I'm probably going to go back and look for a double vanity because I have two adults in here, so they'd probably like to have two sinks, and I, it looks like I have a long enough space to do that. So that's how you get the vanities from Kohler. And again, they're kind of a nice little option. And if you go into 3D, you can see, oh, this one is the 2D block, but sometimes you'll get uh, a 3D block that works okay too. All right, so that's that part. All right, so the next thing, if you get this far, this is going to take a while. So spend your time in bathrooms. If you, have, if you don't get to the kitchen part, that's okay. So far for kitchen, all we really want to do is kind of roughly draw out where we want to put it as we start to think of this. So I'm putting on def point and I'm going to use the polyline, meaning I get to have a continuous line. I'm going to put on snap and I'm going to start here. I'm going to change this later probably. And I'm basically, I'm going to put ortho back on, tracing this back corner wall, because this is where I think I might put my kitchen. And I'm going to go all the way to the door here. And then what I want to do is offset this 24 inches. 24 is the depth of um, kitchen countertops. And I'm going to say O for offset, 24 inches, and then enter, and then click on the purple. And so right now I have sort of a rough layout of where I want to put this kitchen. So I can put in... Say I'm going to put in a wall maybe like here and maybe kind of come in a little bit more over here. And then I'm going to use the fillet command here. So I'm going to click here. Oops, hold on. We got to get that guy there and there. And then the fillet again. And I'm going to go here and here. And that kind of gives me a rough idea of where I want to put it. Maybe I want an island. So then this line right here, I'm going to offset um, the minimum distance for an island is 36 inches. Um, again, comfortable for somebody to walk through, whether they have crutches or, or a walker. Um, if you know you're definitely having more than one cook um, active in your kitchen, 42 is ideal because then two adults can pass each other. I'm going to say 36 because it's um, it's a smaller house still. So it's going to say, oops, offset. So I'm doing, oh, I started up again. I'm doing offset. And you can either use the command up here or typo. And the, the distance is 36. Oh, wait, I typed in 26. Here, let me start up again with that. And then 36. And then we're going to offset this to here. So this will be the edge of my island. So one of the things I do is I'm going to turn it, I just turned on snap, I turned on ortho, and I picked a rectangle. And I'm going to kind of rough in a rectangle right now just to play with it, but I might change the math of it a little bit later. So that's all I'm really asking you to start thinking about now for your kitchen. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more in our kitchens in the morning class. So that'll kind of help you mentally catch up in the afternoon class. So we'll eventually be doing more details in here. But for now, for homework and kind of getting prepped for Thursday's class to work on it is um, get your beds put in to make sure your bedrooms are big enough and then start working your way through your bathrooms. And again, figure out first if you need um, a 
just a tub or just a shower, that kind of combination. All right, and I will also make a separate video on how to do, um, how to edit your blocks as you bring them in too.